and CBSE class 12 tips and tricks. Thank you everyone for your love and support and please don't forget to subscribe my channel and to like this video and share this video to all your friends so that they also are benefited. So today we are going to uh, go for chemistry uh, tips and tricks but before that I want to just say a word about your physics exam that uh, you know I got I received a feedback from many of you guys uh, you know who experienced their paper was a bit difficult and lengthy but now that's done so now don't think on it anymore you know whatever marks you are expecting and things like that just leave that now because you cannot now amend it now let's bridge the gap okay Jovi, you know whatever you are the gap you're getting between the scores you expected and what you are you know now expecting let's bridge that gap by scoring 60 plus okay out of say of 70 marks 60 plus in your chemistry uh, exam so that that gap gets bridged so your last minute chemistry exam tips to score 95 plus in your exam or 65 uh, 65 plus in your exam out of 70. the priorities for you guys in chemistry will be first and the foremost is to do the name reactions okay so first thing organic chemistry name reactions are going to be there you cannot uh, disagree they are the most important in no? organic chemistry second thing is the p block elements chapter it's the highest weightage chapter in your entire chapters okay so that's very important then third is your numericals based on your physical chemistry that is your solid state solutions chemical kinetics and electrochemistry and last is your this this sounds weird but then it's really important that you do chem these chapters of chemistry in everyday life biomolecules and polymers okay these three chapters are extremely important okay you know even if you are you know above average student who, ex who is expecting you know, full out of full marks if you miss out on these chapters let me tell you that you will not score you know you will lose out your marks over here because these are very important and if you don't practice it the right way you will lose marks even if you are you know uh, not expecting uh, full but then you are an average student then also it's important for you because this is a chunk of almost 10 to 12 marks okay almost each chapter is like one chapter will be of four marks one of three marks and one of other, other also three marks so it's like you know six, uh, six plus two, the 10 marks okay around 10 marks you will have on these three chapters so it's very important that you do not neglect these chapters okay i'll talk about it later now important questions of uh, important types of questions topic wise okay so let's go to individual topic wise uh, okay questions what type of questions are asked okay i'm not going to go for this time what are topics i'm just going to go topic wise important questions First, let's focus on organic chemistry, which is of 28 marks in your paper out of 70. It's now see organic chemistry is distributed in several topics. Okay, it's distributed in several topics. No chapter-wise breakup is given. Okay, because you know it's all applied. You start from your haloarenes chapter, haloalkanes, haloarenes, and you go till your you know last chapter of nitrogen containing compounds. Okay, so I can club that with this. Okay, then there are aldehyde ketones alcohol phenols ethers so these are there are many chapters in between so everything will be mixed up it will not be a simple thing okay to do so over here name reactions that is your name reactions of your individual chapters okay that are very important these it, aapko ek, one of these your, these questions will be name reaction in your five mark category or a three mark category okay name reactions to leave name reactions is a blunder to do okay second one is your conversion questions that is say let's say convert uh, benzene to say aniline or anything you can have okay benzene to phenol okay you uh, you have so many things to do okay so you have lot of such reactions given so now maybe you have them jotted down okay maybe aapke paas you you can have a reference book from that you can refer no problem third is arranging compounds based on properties like this see i have attached a question over here you can see arrange the following compound in increasing order of the property as indicated so based on the properties you have to arrange okay like uh, see over here you have to arrange uh, reactivity towards nucleophilic addiction reactions so you don't need to write uh, any reason but then you should have that 
the reason in your mind that why this comes first then this okay and then second is your acidic character so as your uh, plus r group increases acidic character decreases whatever you want, whatever is the reason you have to write it over there then fourth very important is give reasons why give reasons why is almost there in all your sections of your chemistry uh, question paper in your you have it in your physical chemistry also in in organic chemistry also in organic chemistry also so like one question i have attached over here like give reasons for the following benzene chloride is highly reactive uh, towards sn1 reaction so you have to give the reason over there or say two bromobutene is optically active but one bromobutene is optically inactive so these are all these answers already given in your ncrt book just go through there okay and all these questions which i have attached are previous year questions so you know many of you guys had this doubt that previous year question nahi aate hain okay or these these are not there but let me tell you acha no one will give you as it is questions If you are expecting this, that as it is questions, okay, copy paste story. That is not the case. Okay, you won't have copy paste questions. Sometimes you may also, but not in ninety percent cases. What is done is there altered. You know, some editing is done over there. They, you know, they, these are asked in a different manner. Okay, to you, but the core of the question, okay, is the same. Then next type is what happens when okay like this see what happens when ethanol is treated so these are also reaction type questions only but over here now you try the reaction and the product also so these are much I, according to me these are more tougher than the uh, give reason why or conversion question because over here you have to think and you know uh, in conversion maybe you have one or you know you can have more than one root also to do it but when you are uh, you are asked for what happens when. Okay, so you have to write the you know this reaction itself, this particular reaction itself. Let's go to the next. Uh... Okay, now let's come to ha uh, one more type, two types I missed out over here. See over here, one is your IUPAC nomenclature. This is one mark question. So, if you you know you don't have any idea about IUPAC nomenclature of organic compounds, you can leave it right now because for one mark, if you are investing your uh, you know 2 to 3 hours studying all the nomenclature entirely then you know that's not worth it so if you have not done iupac nomenclature before this you can you can just skip it because it's of just one mark okay but you will be costing your one mark let me tell you this set uh, last one is your reagent identification like you will be given the reaction and you are asked to identify the reagent used in this so so these are all types is you know i don't think any other question type of question is asked in organic chemistry okay second level let's come to inorganic chemistry okay inorganic chemistry of 19 marks okay over here the most important chapter and entirely in your syllabus of chemistry the most important chapter is your p block elements chapter okay then over here everyone knows the first important question is your give reasons type question okay and second important is your structure drawing so over here you can see i have attached a question first is account for the following say inter halogens are more reactive than pure halogens over here there are you know those key words you need to write okay so go to the previous year question okay and also access their answers solutions their marking schemes so that you have those keywords with you so you know you know what has to be written over there okay so like over here n2 is less reactive than at room temperature okay so what's the reason so that's given in ncrt so you can just search for that particular keyword which has to be written over there then reducing character increases from nh3 to bih3 so these are various types this is just three okay you have an entire list of account for the following give reasons why type questions then let's go to the draw the structures of the following so drawing the structures is very 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 important okay please don't skip this it bahut easy hai whatever is given in your ncrt the same diagram as it is you need to just copy paste in your answer sheet that's it and these are very limited also so you won't get structures of every compound okay so your halogen uh, compounds your um uh, for uh, acids okay sulfuric acid phosphoric acid and their types so oxo acids jo hai okay that is very important so only those structures okay you can just go to the previous year's question and see which which structures were asked so that you know okay this is a important this is repeated twice thrice okay so that you know this then let's come to third category is your complete the reactions or applications or uses of certain uh, compounds or elements so like when concentrated sulfuric 